One of my best friends is an incredibly cheerful and positive person. Like, relentlessly so. I am fairly eh with my outlook on life and appreciate her disposition, although at times it can be very overwhelming. How can I tell her to tone down the sunny side without sounding like a total monster? Overcast in Omaha, bad news, it's too late. It's like... You already sound like a total monster. Yeah, yes. you've come, you've, his friend, you've come to the wrong place. Uh, I, I, I think the reason you have a problem figuring out how to say it is because, like, there is no reason to say... Like, play that out. Like, hey, hey, Debbie, don't be so happy. Like that? Yeah, how like do you, it doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah. think about it. How does it negatively affect you at all? How cool is your life that you're not just like feeding off of people like that relentlessly? Like you gotta feed. Us. Do you not realize that that's maybe you don't realize that that's the secret? Is you have to be a joy leech, a hanging off of the 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 fatty flesh of your your happy friends. You you are not harvesting enough. That's the problem. Yeah. The problem is with you. You are supposed to come at like the the little uh, bird and peck the joy from between her teeth, like yeah. the rhino. You know and that that's good for both of you, because mm -hmm. then she gets her teeth cleaned and you get a little bit of happiness chunks. Do you know that song, Rainbow Connection? Yes. That song is literally about like a, 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 a virulent proboscis that you just jam into your happy friends and you, you sustain yourself. Yeah, you are the pilot fish to her shark of joy. You need to just c clean that joy off. If she has an overabundance, it's because you're not getting your, you're not filling your quota of and, just draining it. But listen, don't change too much because she's also feeding off your sorrow. And that's mm -hmm. important. If it wasn't for that, it, it, she, she just, she wouldn't, she would just, you know, be dancing in the street. I think we've basically just described the plot of Inside Out, right? Like that's the, th like happiness, sadness go well, together. Film. And we've also described like the truth about cats and dogs. There's a, there's a lot. Must love yes. dogs. Must love all right, dogs, dogs go to heaven. Air yeah. Bud, one through six. I just don't see why it's important to you to like unless like you unless unless she's cheerful at like the exact wrong times. Oh boy. Like okay. a friend like has just like had their car totaled or like a loved one passed away and she's like awesome great totally cool you guys. You didn't they just, say she's unbalanced. She's but they said unchanged. at times overwhelming. Yeah. They just watched they just watched the harrowing documentary Dear Zachary. And then it's <laughs> good one TV program classic classic. I, I can also see though in, in in like if everybody's like, oh, do you want to order a pizza? And she just is like, it's the greatest thing. Where it can, I could see it coming across as very insincere if she's overly cheerful and excited about everything. But that's on you. If a person's being sincere and you think they're being insincere, that is not a them problem. That is a you problem. But is that a conversation you could have where like if you're that excited about everything, then you're that excited about nothing? Like you have to vary it up and Absolutely choose not. Absolutely why not. Why not be senselessly joyful? Why not just be completely happy about... Why, we all used to be fucking stoked about pizza. We all used to get that stoked about pizza and she has somehow preserved that and for you to come around and try to snatch that from her hand is it's a sin. It's sinful. If you say someone's over, like my friend is really happy, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. You sound like Lydia from Beetlejuice. <laughs> like, you, you, you have you have to just lighten up a little bit. I yeah. agree. I agree too. Here, how about a Yahoo? Wait, is that? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to be. Oh man, I don't know. I I don't want to be like callous or un or hurt somebody's feelings. Like, no, you are you are the way you are. It's just like I un understand that this is not a. You okay? Let me let me put it to you this way. If this is genuinely a problem for you, the onus is on you to distance yourself from this person, not to try to fucking bring them down. Like or seriously. to hang out with them at appropriately cheerful times. When like, you're in a good groove, you got yeah. that radiation vibe you're grooving on. You're gonna call her up. Get out there in the sun, get some mochas, and just have a day. But and if like, you find yourself in a situation where she's like super cheerful about something, try to see it how she sees it, and maybe you're like, you know what, there is yeah, a lot of good in this situation. You've got you if you, do, you this the people like this are fucking magic. They're real life magic, and you've got to surround yourself with as many of them as you possibly can. Build yourself a flesh barrier with these happy sobs. You need it. We all need it.